Hey everybody, this is Jeremy with Blockchain WTF. Excited to bring you a walkthrough and review of one of the most accessible and easy to use cryptocurrency wallets, the JAX Mobile Wallet. By the end of this video, you'll know what the JAX Wallet is, its features, how to get it, and even how to set up your own wallet. So let's dive into it. What exactly is the JAX Wallet? JAX is a multi-cryptocurrency wallet, which means it supports several different tokens, which makes it really easy to use and very handy. It also has a great interface and its ease of use makes it great for beginners. As for the type of wallet that JAX is, JAX is a mobile wallet, which means that you could download it on your phone, uh, your iPad. Secondly, it's what's known as a hot wallet, which means that it's not exactly used to store funds in the long term, it's used to have money at the ready for transactions. The best analogy that I could think of, a hot wallet is like having cash in your pocket ready to spend, while a cold wallet is like having that cash in the bank. It's not immediately accessible. In order to download the JAX wallet, you have a couple different options. All of the downloads are free. You could either download it directly from the website at jax.io. Again, that's JAX with two X's or you can download it through your mobile device on the Google Play Store or Apple App Store, depending on which device you have. So now that you know what the JAX wallet is and you have it downloaded, you should see this screen right here. We're actually recording this through the JAX Chrome browser extension just for ease of use. However, the interface that you see right here is the same exact interface that you're going to see on mobile. So this walkthrough should hold up. So now that you have JAX downloaded and launched, this home screen should pop up. Here you see a couple options, create a new wallet, which we're gonna do in a second. However, if you have an existing wallet that has been physically lost, there is a process that will go over to restore your wallet. So even if you lose the physical mobile wallet, your funds are still safe. But first we're gonna create a new wallet. Select that option, hit continue. I always select the custom option just because it gives you a little bit more control. It's also a great way to learn what JAX has to offer uh, and how to use the software. So we're going to do custom setup. I'm going to hit continue. Like I said earlier, JAX is a multi cryptocurrency wallet that supports several different tokens. These are all of the tokens that it supports. You have the big hitters there like Bitcoin, Ethereum, Dash some lesser known coins down here. But overall you have about 15, 20 options of tokens to use and store within the same wallet, which makes JAX really, really convenient. So all you have to do on this page is just figure out which cryptocurrency wallets that you would like to use. I'm gonna select Bitcoin, Ethereum, and Dash. Don't worry, you can always come back to the step through the options, so you can always add or remove these wallets later. Once you've selected all the wallets that you want, just hit continue. One cool feature that JAX allows for is you can select your currency, your home currency that you use, and it will show you the updated price of your tokens instantly. So it's a good way to keep track of your total investment. I'm in the United States, and I use the United States dollar, so I'm going to select that and hit continue. So this brings us to one of the most crucial steps in setting up your JAX wallet, writing down your backup phrase. What this backup phrase will allow you to do, if your JAX mobile wallet, the physical device that you have it on, is ever lost, don't worry. All you have to do is write down this backup phrase and enter it in your new device, your new JAX wallet, that original step that said pair or restore a wallet and all your funds will be right there. It doesn't matter that the physical device gets lost as long as you have this backup phrase. So now I'm going to ask you to get a pen and paper, write down the backup phrase that's going to come up on your own wallet and put that in a very safe place. Do not lose it. I advise that you put it in a safe safety deposit box somewhere where you only know about it and no one else can get to it. So we're going to select, yes, I understand how Jack's backup works and continue. At 
this point, your 12 word backup phrase will come up on your screen. Right here is mine, but obviously yours is going to be different because you don't want this password falling into the wrong hands. Please take this time to write down your 12 word backup phrase in case the physical device that your wallet is on is ever lost. I know I've said it a couple times, but yes, it's that important. So take the 30 seconds it takes to write down this 12 word backup phrase, I'll wait. Once you've written down your 12 word backup phrase right here, hit next and it will ask you to confirm it just to make sure that you've written it down. Something interesting that Jax does, you cannot just copy and paste this. They're making sure that you do in fact have this 12 word backup phrase or paper key so you can restore your files later. They're basically making sure you don't have a headache later on. So I'm gonna hit next here and confirm my 12 word backup phrase. And once you've entered in and confirmed your 12 word backup phrase, right here, a little next will come up, allowing you to advance in your setup. Jax offers an extra layer of security in the form of a security pin. Basically what this does is every time you want to complete a transaction, it will ask you for your PIN. It's just an extra layer of protection, so if your physical device falls into the wrong hands, the person still will not be able to send funds without your PIN. So I always like to have one, I suggest you do too. Just click this box here, and we'll go to continue. And since this wallet is being used for setup purposes, and since this wallet is being used for setup purposes, we're gonna scrap it at the end of this video. We already showed you the backup phrase and we're gonna show you the pin that we've created. I'm going to use one, two, three, four, just for demonstration purposes. I suggest you have a more complex pin. But once you enter it in, it continue. And I'll ask you to verify. Just put in that code to confirm. And once you've gotten it verified correctly, the continue option will come up. Just select that. And just like that, your Jax wallet is set up and ready to use. Here you can see the three cryptocurrencies that we've selected to use earlier in the setup. However, let's say I want to add a cryptocurrency. You go over to wallet. Say my friend wants to send me some auger. Just select this, the auger option. Go back. And right here is your new auger wallet. So it's really that easy just to go from cryptocurrency, just to use multiple cryptocurrencies within Jax. It has these separate pages, so it's very organized. It's very easy to add those tokens later on if you want to use them. This screen that you see right here, this is what I consider the home screen. This is the screen that you're going to see most in your Jax wallet. And each cryptocurrency wallet that you have within Jax so this page might look a little intimidating at first, but don't worry, it's very easy to understand. We'll take you through a walkthrough that will address each part. Over here is where you go to receive tokens. Here you go to send. We're gonna do an actual demonstration of sending tokens over a little bit later, so we'll get into more depth with that. Jax has a really cool feature that allows for you to shift the current currency you have for any of those that Jax offers in app. It's called Shapeshift. We'll also do an example of that as well so you can fully utilize it. 
Over here, you have your current address. Your address will be different for each cryptocurrency you have in the wallet. Over here, you can see our Dash address. Here you have the symbol, how many tokens you have, if you do have any tokens, and the estimated dollar value. Down here is your transaction history. Obviously, this is a new wallet, so we don't have any transactions down there. And over here, this QR code is a really handy tool that makes sending money a lot easier. We'll show you how to use that as well. Now that you know the lay of the land with checks, we're gonna show you a demonstration of a real life transaction. Here you can see my friend's wallet. He has about 1.08 Dash in there, and coincidentally, he owes me that exact amount. So he's gonna send it to me by going to the Send tab. For address, he is going to just copy and paste the address that I provided him. And when he goes to amount, since he's trying to send me everything in his wallet, it just hits that max button right there. Of course, you can select how much you want to send. You don't always have to send the full amount, but for the purposes of this video, and since we're going to scrap this wallet later, we're going to send the whole amount and empty out the wallet. So once you have that information, all you have to do is hit send. It'll ask you for, it'll give you confirmation details. And once you've reviewed those, hit confirm. At this point, it'll ask you to confirm your PIN in order to verify. Now you can see that Dash my friend sent me is right here in my wallet. This transaction happened in a matter of seconds. However, depending on the cryptocurrency you're working with, it could range anywhere from seconds to 10 minutes, depending on the block time of the cryptocurrency that you're choosing to use. I've received the Dash, but let's say another transaction comes up where I owe someone money and they want it in Litecoin. It's pretty simple to do. All I have to do is go over to Wallets, make sure I have a Litecoin wallet active. Once I select it, Litecoin will initialize right here. And you can see I have none. So what I wanna do is shift my Dash into Litecoin. And that's very easy to do. All you do is click this box right here. It's the Shapeshift logo. It'll Shapeshift in wallet so you don't have to enter an address. All you have to do is select the currency that you're trying to convert to. We're trying to convert to Litecoin. And how much you want to send over. And, and for the purposes of this review, we're going to send over the max just so we can empty out this scrap wallet at the end. So here you can see I am converting all my Dash to Litecoin. All you have to do is hit Shift. The transaction will come up. Just enter your PIN. And that currency will be shifted from Dash to Litecoin in a matter of minutes. You can see it's already taken my Dash. Here you can see the 6.73 Litecoin that we got by converting the 1.08 Dash via Shapeshift. Right here, if you go over to your Dash tab, you actually have a receipt of this transaction right around here. And here's that first transaction where we received all that Dash. Now let's convert it over and I'm ready to send to my friend. So what I do is go to send. A really cool feature that Jax has is you can actually scan a QR code instead of typing out this long drawn out, drawn out address. I'm on a computer so I can't do that now, but luckily I have the address copied and pasted or copied to my clipboard. So I just paste it in here. It's my friend's Litecoin address and I'm trying to empty out my wallet. So we're going to send the max amount of Litecoin that we have. Hit that send button over here. Here's our confirmation. Always double check your details, always double check your address. Once you confirm, put in your PIN if you have one. And you can see the Litecoin has been taken from my wallet and is en route to my friends. In fact, I can see here, 
I have these six plus confirmations needed to approve a transaction for that money to go through. And it looks like it already went through just in a matter of seconds. Sent that Litecoin, the 6.73-ish Litecoin over there to my friend's wallet. So there you have it. That's a review on the Jax mobile wallet. Definitely holds a special place in my heart because it's my first cryptocurrency wallet ever. However, its functionality has led me to still use it today. It's a really good hot wallet. It's great for paying back friends for dinner, movie tickets, just an easy payment solution that's pretty quick as well, and you don't have to deal with all the fees. So thanks for stopping by and watching our Jack's walkthrough. We hope you enjoyed it. If you did, be sure to leave a like. Also subscribe so you don't miss out on any other great content, including other hardware reviews. This has been Jeremy with Blockchain WTF. Signing off, we'll see you next time.